Welcome to an episode of Beer and Booze with B-Rad. I'm your host, B-Rad. Let's start the show off right. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, do not drink something near and dear to my heart. 22 veterans died daily to PTSD suicide. So if you have no veteran, anyone suffering from PTSD, reach out to those individuals. Sometimes show them that you care. Listening to them could possibly save their life. All right. Uh, last week, me and Miss b Rad went to Salt City Brewery, and uh, I gave a beer review on their first responder beer. Honestly, I didn't really care for it, so I did. I like to always buy a, uh, a growler, or I guess this was called a squeezer or something. Fuck, I know. Okay, but horrible service. I don't know. Anyhow, just Google the reviews on the place if you fucking go there, because I had the same problem trying to fill one of these as someone else put on there and shit. And it just it was a big clusterfuck. And everything. The first responder I wasn't a big fan of. It was okay, you know, but that's a really, really light fucking weird beer. So uh, I'll use my Vortex glass. And this is the Space Force uh, from uh, Salt City. And it was a lot better tasting than the other one. I thought I'd give them another fair shot at review. It's a client, I believe it's a hazy IPA, hence it is pretty fucking hazy. Uh, you know, um, it's got a very, very strong, strong, uh, what do you call it? Citrus smell, a little maltiness in there, but that's just fucking regular. And all my reviews are going to sound the same because a lot of these IPAs and, and pale ales and, uh, ales are just, they, they smell similar. So let's go ahead and. Now, in all fairness, this didn't taste doesn't taste quite as good as it did earlier, but I do know it had a nice, uh, nice hoppy, citrusy smell or taste. Uh, had a, a, a real pungent in the back half, you know, what an IPA should have. It was just a good all-around beer. I will give this a. I know this is a rookie score, but I'm going to give it a seven. No. I'm gonna give it a 6.8. Okay, uh, I I like I like some I like their beer, but you know the service and everything is a great place. Looked like a pretty kick-ass environment, but the service was horrible. Uh, if I rated the service, I give the service a 0 0.1, and uh, I probably won't be back. But uh, the beer's not bad, so go for the beer and everything. So that's my beer review. Uh, and to my Marine Corps family, super fine, motherfuckers.